Pumsavana Samantoniyana is a combination of the two rites of Pumsavana and Srimatham also spelled Srimantha and Samantanayana Sanskrit, Samantanayana Samantanayana that is observed in modern times, both form a part of the prenatal rituals, part of samskara in the Hindu tradition that is celebrated in India by the pregnant mother and father of the child, during the seventh or eighth month of pregnancy. Topic. Rites The four prenatal rites which are part of the sixteen samskaras personal sacraments followed by Hindus and which are based on grhya sutras performed on a single day, in the modern times, starting from morning till evening, are the following. Topic. Srimantham Srimantham is a family and a community festival with prayers seeking safe birth of the child. This is the third of sixteen samskaras, there is difference of opinion on the months when it should be performed. The authorities are not unanimous whether this samskara should be performed at each pregnancy or it should be performed only during the first conception. According to Ashvalayana, Bhadayana, Apastamba, Paraskara, Harita and Devala it should be performed only once. But other authorities think that it should perform during every pregnancy. Pumsavana Pumsavana, Sanskrit, Pumsavana Pumsavana is also a Vedic prescribed rite that is performed to beget a son. This is performed during the second, third or fourth month of pregnancy. In some regions, this rite is combined with Srimantham and the two together is called the Pumsavana Srimantham. It includes a luncheon feast. Topic. Valakapu This is usually performed in the evening after the Srimantham or Pumsavana Srimantham is performed. Valakapu in Tamil means bangle or bracelet and kapu means to adorn. On this occasion, which is the prerogative of the women folk of the family to perform, the pregnant mother would be dressed in a fine silk sari, and women of all ages slip bangles and bracelets on her arm. The reasoning for this is that the bangles would act as protective amulet against evil eye and evil spirits. This is a ritual which the Indian immigrant families in the United States also observe along with Srimantham and Pushuttal. It is similar to the baby shower ritual observed in other parts of the world. In many Tamil Brahmin Iyer families, the mother to be wears a black sari for this ritual. Black is usually not allowed for any good occasion, but this is a special occasion that asks for a black sari. It is also called as Masakai Karapu, meaning yearning for black. Anything that the mother to be yearns for must be fulfilled. The mother and mother in law of the lady start the ritual off by adorning the lady with three bangles made of neem leaf, silver, and gold. Post this, all the ladies who are attending put the bangles for the mother to be. The ceremony closes with an arathi. Topic: Puchutal. Another related rite that used to be observed in the earlier days as a separate ritual, but is now combined with Srimantham in South India, is called the puchutal, meaning adorning the head of the expectant mother with flowers. After observing this ritual, in the olden days, the expectant mother used to go to her parental house for delivery. 
In the traditional practice, the parents of the expectant mother offer gifts of new clothes, sweets, beetle leaves and nuts and coconuts to their daughter and son-in-law. Topic: <laughs> Food feast. Food prepared on this occasion is special and consist of rice, sambar, rasam, chutney, two or three types of vegetable dishes, payasm, lado, curd and papad and many more items. Topic. See also Samskara Baby shower